Their fame could not dwindle the love that the BTS members had for each other. But what do their personal lives look like outside of BTS? Let's find out today about some of the times the BTS members talked about their previous or potential love lives. Before we move on, take a moment and hit that like and subscribe button so you too can stay updated on your favorite K-pop idols. Number eight, BTS members packed schedule. During an interview when the members were asked about their love lives, J-Hope immediately cried, what relationship and love are you talking about when we can't even get sleep? BTS was known for strenuous amounts of practice and preparation since the beginning of their debut. Their error-free, perfect choreography doesn't just get magically ready in a day. BTS members also participate in composing and writing lyrics for their songs. RM once said, when people find us outside of our BTS lives, nine out of 10 times they report seeing us at restaurants. We don't have time for other things because it really takes a long time to polish a piece of music. Since we don't really have personal lives, we go to practice and we write music together. So they perform and they practice. It sure doesn't seem like there's much time for serious romance. Number seven, the members know about each other really well. BTS members once voted on which members are likely to be a romantic or a flirt. When asked who is the biggest romantic, V immediately responded, no romantics here, bursting into laughter. J-Hope responded, it's probably Jimin, and RM agreed to it. Jimin, in response, said, thank you. RM emphasized, Jimin may have very little experience with relationships because he really is a romantic falling for one woman very hard. Then when asked who's the biggest flirt, Jimin pointed at RM. Even though RM denied it, everyone started talking about RM now. RM admitted to liking sexy women, and Suga said that RM is rather certain about his ideal type. In 2016, the BTS members were living together and spending almost 24 hours together. Jin said, we all decided to live together. Even if we get into arguments, we can make up the following day and start laughing again. We can't really get into serious arguments. We made up our minds to continue to living together. It's encouraging and not lonely to come home together with everyone after a hard day of work. Number six, ideal types. We said that RM's ideal type is a sexy woman. He also added that he'd like his partner to have a nice voice and be able to carry on a conversation with him. But what about the other members? Jin said his ideal type is someone kind and supportive and because he likes food but can't cook well, he said he would like to get married to someone who can cook. It seems though that he's actually the best cook among all the members because he's often the one cooking for the team and frequently uploading cooking videos on the official BTS blog. Suga said his ideal partner is someone with a good personality who likes music and hip hop. V said a woman who's intelligent about her spending while caring for her parents and family would be his ideal type. J-Hope said someone who cooks well and is considerate, as well as someone who is thoughtful. Jungkook said he'd like his partner to like him, sing well, and be smart. He revealed that IU is his ideal woman, saying that he would like to sing a duet with her one day. And Jimin is looking for someone with a great personality, someone who's cute, and a person who seems organized yet can be silly. Number 5. J-Hope's Crush J-Hope admitted to having a crush on a girl back in the day. Unfortunately, the girl that he liked actually was in love with someone else. When J-Hope found out about it, he was extremely heartbroken. He got on a bus, and on the way home, he started listening to some music on his MP3 player. The music happened to be Dynamic Duo's Solo. And since that very moment, J-Hope's favorite song became this song by Dynamic Duo. In the movie Burn the Stage, RM talked about J-Hope's personality, saying that J-Hope is like water, because he makes everyone around him feel comfortable. We all hope his water-like personality will someday find its true fiery love. Number four, V's first love. V also once had a secret crush. He said that he was trying to tell her how he felt over the phone, but when he actually tried to call and talk to her, she didn't pick up. It was raining that day, and V was so depressed on the bus ride home, thinking about Lee Jok's song, Rain. V has explained that he can't easily reject someone when that person admits how she feels about him. He has accidentally got into relationships because of that, but he also added that he wasn't able to get into a serious relationship for the same reason. 
He said that he only talked to some people online and that once he does find his true first love, he would like to consider marrying her. He also added that none of his past relationships lasted more than 20 days. When will V meet the love of his dreams? Number three, RM's high school girlfriend. RM was cast as a regular for a TV show called Problematic Men, also known as The Brainiacs. Before leaving the show due to BTS's 2015 Red Bullet World Tour, he once talked about his girlfriend in high school. He further explained that the girlfriend had too many guy friends at the time and acted in ways that didn't really align with his standards. RM tried talking to her to resolve the ongoing issue. The girlfriend, however, responded that he was just tiring her and continued to keep her guy friends close. Sooner or later, RM decided to break up with her. This is probably why he described his ideal woman as someone who is considerate, yet self-confident, and intelligent at the same time. Even though he broke up with his girlfriend in the past, now he's receiving all the love he could possibly get from his ARMY fans. Number 2. What if BTS members were to like the same woman? In a TV show, the BTS members were asked what they would do if they all happened to like the same woman. RM responded, If something like that was to occur, I probably wouldn't give up my love, with laughter. He continued, This would never happen though, and it should not happen. But if it were to happen, I think I would end up regretting not trying as hard as I could to make it work. Sugar responded, Well, this question is asking whether I'd pick friendship over love. Since I respect everyone's tastes and ideas, I would respect the woman's opinion as well. I won't force anything, and I would let her decide for herself. J-Hope said, I think I would be very concerned. I am really sensitive about love, so I'd probably listen to everyone's ideas to attempt to resolve the issue wisely. Jin said, I'd probably give up. These are some of my closest friends, and if they were to fight for love, I probably wouldn't even try to break it up and just watch everything from a distance. Jimin said, I'd probably look for someone else right away. I think I'd be able to maintain friendships by trying to look for someone else to love. V said, I'd observe what other members do and continuously look for any opportunity to make it work. When I like a person, I tend to pour everything into the relationship. Jungkook said, I wouldn't give up and I'd fight until the end for her love. Seems like all seven members have seven very different ways of approaching the same problem. Number one many interviews about their girlfriends. BTS members were asked frequently about their girlfriends in different interviews worldwide. When an Access Hollywood interviewer asked how the members handle girl issues, RM responded for the team, saying, eh, we don't really have time for that. We're usually in different countries for half the year. So it's very hard, but we'll see. He also said that they want to focus on their careers right now and that they actually end up going to some of the popular date locations together. During their interview with E.T., the members said that they are not looking for girlfriends at the moment because they got armies. With countless army girlfriends around the world, BTS says they're not worried. Thanks for watching this video. Let us know in the comments which one of these facts surprised you the most. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on that notification button so you can always be in touch with all the facts about K-pop.